We played this joint in the first hour, man. I've been promoting it. I'm super, super hyped to have an opportunity uh, to chop it up with with, with, with artists who are, who are doing nothing but making really, really good music. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I need y'all to put your hands together wherever you are, unless you're driving, and make some noise for the one and only MC Brand Power. What's good? <laughs> What's up, DJ Cliff? How you doing, man? Man, I'm, I'm good because you're in the neighborhood now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> definitely that's what's up yo so we got to let people know man you're not calling from like cali or like even the east coast man tell them where you calling from actually i'm calling in right now live and direct from amsterdam city in holland in europe it's six in the morning and i'm calling <laughs> dj cliff <laughs> and i just got back from rocking a show in belgium and uh man i'm happy to be on your show Everybody listening, what's up? That's what's up. That's what's up. NC Brand Power. Yo, I was uh, you know, I was doing I was doing a little research, man, getting ready to chop it up with you, man, checking out your bio. Yeah. And man, your career is crazy already, man, looking at the opportunities that you've had. Um some Thank of you, the man. work that you've done. Um like let me just run down some of these names of people that you are connected with in one way or another. Cool. Beastie Boys, Nas, yep. Yep. Eminem. Snoop Dogg opened up for Eminem during the Marshall Mattis LP tour, man. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, and then two of the groups who I feel like are two of the two of the, the greatest hip hop acts of all time. One, Run DMC. That just yep. That's crazy, B. And then yeah, man. De La Soul. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, man, like you know, you know, you know, Cliff. It's just weird to speak about. Things that I've done, that I've done, or that I did, but um, I guess it's kind of, kind of like a maybe a cultural difference. I don't know. Like, it's funny I can brag in rhymes, but it's hard for me to brag about what I did. You know, just in real life. You know, right, but right. when you when you read my bio, it's you know, it sounds pretty cool actually. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, I opened up for Dela back in the days, and that was a dream come true. And me and DJ Mace, we stayed in touch, and he always shouts me out whenever he's in Europe doing shows. And, I mean, opening up for Eminem was just crazy. That was, like, back in the days when I was coming up right before my first album dropped. Like, a couple of weeks before my first album dropped, I was able to open up for him during the Marshall Matters LP tour. And, man, it's just, like, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. It just, it just I don't know what to say, man. Ask me something. <laughs> <laughs> we got MC Brain Power live in the neighborhood, man. So, you know, again, you said that you, you just rocked a show in Belgium. I mean, you, you're, you're calling from yeah. Europe. I, was, I had Seagoods, a, a local producer and MC here, and off mic we were talking about um, the differences in the reception of, of hip hop here in the States and then elsewhere yeah. in Europe. Um, you've been obviously at this for a minute, man. Talk about talk about that. Talk about uh, uh, being an artist, doing doing a genre of hip hop that, that started here in the States and the fact that it is so well received worldwide differently. What has been your experience um, with that? So... Um just as an wait, artist, wait, so what do you want to know? Like what what my experience is like in in being a hip hop artist from Europe? Or? Yes, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, well, you know, like for me, it's really a, an organic thing, and I um, I do think back in the days, a couple of countries in Europe, we really really got into like the real essence of hip hop from early on. Definitely the UK, country like Germany, France, and also Holland. I mean. There was a, a, a rich underground scene, rich in personality and rich in really digging for the truth of hip hop. Like, you know, me personally, I'm a student of the genre and just music in general. Yeah. Um, I'm a musician as well, play the keys, producer and a songwriter. But as far as hip hop goes, like me, I really dived into it deep, you know, studying Cool Herc up until the newest rapper that I may not even like. I just really love the genre. But I have to say, back in the days, there were a lot of gimmick acts like yeah. Most of the times it was more of a subculture or a gimmicky thing, the way people would approach rap music as opposed to it being the culture. Right. And that was something that resonated with me spiritually, you know, in a sense, uh, uh, stuff that came from the States. It was just like, you know, Run DMC was an organic, natural thing. There was a super group that was really that. And, of course, the rest of the, rest of the world tried to, you know, emulate that in one way or the other. And for me, being a European hip-hop artist, my personal challenge in Holland was to make the Dutch language sound fluent. So, you know, I can give you a quick example. For instance, um, 1988 was great. as has a dope flow to it. But when you say that in Dutch, it's 1988 was prachtig. So it sounds more like a, a harsh, almost industrial kind of like texture Word. it has to it. 
so for me, it was a challenge to make make the Dutch language sound like you would hear Rakim rhyme, you know, like the, the almost the jazzy influence of that he has in his timing. So for me, creatively, as a little kid, it was actually kind of weird to, you know, to be completely honest, a white kid from Holland that was so deeply into hip hop as a, as a youth, you know, it's just, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. It's like, you know what I mean? I try to stay authentic with it and really dig for the culture and understand what it is and really like study it. And at the same time, do it with complete, you know, uh, dedication and, and, and feel. That's why I chose my name. Brain It's like for the over analytical dude that I am. And power is the power of the heart, you know? And you know what I mean? Like that was kind of like the thing. I was a kid, you know, when I made up the name, but it stuck with me and people just started calling me brain. So here it is, man, in, in a nutshell, really. But the difference is, it's not really a difference, man. People love hip hop out here, but I would say back in the days, it was more of like a gimmicky approach to the culture. And now you have to understand the last 15 years, hip hop blew up so big out here. And we follow a lot of stuff that goes on in the States. But now if you look at, if, at hip hop, I mean, a lot, even Timberland was one of the first guys that really, you know, studied the UK scene and, you know, took some elements from there and, 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 and it goes back and forth, you know, and if you look at it really, like my influence is, is, is a lot of music from the Dutch Caribbean. Yes. And for me, when I'm in the Caribbean, I just toured the Caribbean with Orange Grove that featured on my new single. I, this really has to do with your question, but it's like, Cool Herc was a Jamaican dude that went to New York right. and basically he's the father of hip hop. So right. when I'm in the Caribbean as a Dutch dude that came up grew up listening to hip hop it's just a layered thing where you kind of understand the different cultures and the different countries and different islands and the different uh, sentiments that 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 made hip hop into what it is so it's only natural that now you have cats from europe or wherever they're from hopefully being being able to inspire u.s artists again you know what i'm saying Absolutely. because at the end of the day it goes back and forth and and, and basically i hope this still makes sense <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, and, and that that is the dope thing is is it it is as an art form it is global it is worldwide and and so often now I think what we see is is we see people who are coming from different experiences that have added to the culture and have grown the culture and when an artist like yourself can do it in such an organic way like you say really taking from the history and and taking that true heart of the art form forward the way that you have it does nothing but enhance it so salute to you brother for what you've Thanks, done thus far. Hey, thanks, man. But and, and here's the thing, too, man. It's like, it's it's like um, you have to understand Europe, especially Europe as a continent. We always follow the states as far as pop culture goes. And I think a lot of people don't really touch on the subject. But whether it's Arnold Schwarzenegger or just Hollywood culture or hip hop or jazz music, you know, it has such a big impact on a lot of people here. And one of the reasons why I speak English the way I speak it is because of pop culture and hip hop. You know, and pop culture meaning whether it's the movie Jaws or whether it's the fact that we know CNN, you know, you know, when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. That's what they always say. And it's true. But at the same time, it's like, but at the same time, it's like a lot of people out here, when you, when you make music in the English language, a lot of people are like, yeah, well, you know, then it's not authentic. You know, it's not real because that's not the language you grow up, grow up speaking. And I, I'm always like, hey, man, maybe I think different in that sense. But if I feel comfortable speaking English as well as Dutch and I, I really made it my life. You know, it's my calling to make music and really be authentic about it and just be honest about it. But then why would you not be able to do that? And I think there are a lot of great artists from Europe that, that make music in, in another language than that they go up speaking. But as long as the heart is right. And you know what it is, man, Cliff? Like, you can't lie about the spirit that's behind what you do. That's, just, that's why I love Kendrick Lamar so much. Like, it's just, he's not only a dope MC, he's not only a great artist, and he says something, but it's also you can hear what he says, the way he says it, and what he means when he says it. So to me, being a Dutch dude, for me, making music in the English language is really something like spiritually I can't lie. And maybe maybe sometimes you'll mess up a word, or maybe sometimes I'm nervous, man, because it's not the language that I spoke every day when I grew up, but I want to be myself, and whatever language I can speak and express myself in, then that's just art, you know? And, and that's kind of like a funny thing where I get so much love uh, for certain things in the States that people out here may not necessarily pick up on and the other way around. And for me, it's music is music. So I'm trying to just inspire and just be myself and really find that path to just, just make my signature sound and my hip, my way, the way I make hip hop without being, you know, uh, a copy or someone that emulates somebody, you know what I mean? And I did that in Dutch. Back in the days, they used to say, oh man, it's never going to work. Yeah. Dutch rap is never going to work. Yeah. And now everybody out here raps Dutch. Everybody. <laughs> you. And now for me, it's also like, well, why, why would you start 
the English stuff again, Brian, because you we know you started out in that, but you had a whole career. Why would you like and me? Like, well, you know, I just want to do what people think is impossible. Not that that is the drive, but at the same time, it's like, hey, I feel it's possible, and I see this, and I want to do it. So for you to recognize. What you just said, it means the world to me, man. So that's thanks for having me. And everybody that listens, man, thanks for listening. And just, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> that's what's up, man. But the 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 song, all all the same. I mean, I think everything that you spoke to um, really is expressed in the song. Like you said, it's a it's a joint that that features Orange Grove, which you, you like you said you just you just did a tour with a Caribbean tour with them during the summer, man. Yeah. There is a there is a quote that came from um, the description of the song. Um, that I want to read it says it deals with the fact that nobody wants to feel rejected at the end of the exactly. day everybody wants to be accepted and loved man that's deep bro that's crazy deep man I love the fact you touch on that because you know I really had to get that off my chest to all the same song and Orange Grove um, is, a, is a great reggae rock crossover band from St. Martin the island of St. Martin and they're also based in Holland excuse me and um yeah, we made the song together, and I produced it myself. And it's just, you know, I really wanted to get that out there. Like, you know, we have to stick together. And w- the world is so bent on focusing on differences, and we should really focus on the similarities. Because, bro, you and I want the same thing. We all want to be loved, and we, we nobody wants to feel rejected. And even my love for hip-hop goes so deep that sometimes you'll copy a certain spirit of a certain era or a certain artist, and, the, you know, that energy may be based on... Off re- or based on rejection and sometimes it's like hey man like as an artist and as a human being you grow i can't always you know m- make rhymes that are based on fear or rejection i want to make music and rhymes that are based on love it Come doesn't on. mean you're soft and it doesn't mean you know you want to sound corny or whatever it's like hey at the end of the day no matter what we believe we all the same underneath and especially with the crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now and this is not a marketing stunt or whatever it's just something i believe that needs to be out there because you know, we 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 are all the same. We're all one human race. Isn't that true? You That's know what I mean? Up. Like, we you know why can't we come together? And in, in, in especially right now, man, it's just something that I thought was important to say, especially dealing with rejection. Nobody wants to feel rejected, and it's like a lot of the stuff that's, go, that's going on in the world, whether it's racism, terrorism, bitterness, it stems from people feeling excluded and not feeling included within a society or within a group, or you know, and. You know, toler- people always say, yeah, I'll tolerate that. Like, you don't tolerate people. You tolerate insects, man. Like, <laughs> we have to love each other. And people scream respect. But, you know, I love getting respect and giving respect. But yeah. at the same time, if, if I love you, Cliff, I have to respect you first. Come on. But I love you, so then it's a different story. You know what I mean? And, man, it's just something that comes from the heart, really, man. And I can't lie about it. It's something that I had to get off my chest. That's the all the same song in in. in basically not really a nutshell but i mean i'm just passionate about it because i think it needs to be out there and it's even if you don't you know you don't even listen to the fact that i'm a dude from amsterdam calling in understand what i'm trying to say here because we need we need to come together what else are we going to do man exactly. we're on this planet right exactly we might as well find the similarities and try to build a bridge i always felt like a translator man back in the days i was an underground mc white dude explaining this to that and that to them and then underground hip-hop the mainstream and then the mainstream was like oh what the hell is rap and you're white too you're not looking like tupac so how the hell can you be a rapper and da, da, da. i always had to deal with translation and just explaining who i was from the heart and you know at the end of the day that's good and it's evil man it's good and bad it's not a lot of different things and i want to make my decisions based on love and not on fear man so you know that's what i want to get across really in in my whole body of work and especially the new song that's that's getting a lot of great reaction in the states it's just for me it's just you know something that i have to do man so yeah that's what's up that's what's up chopping it up with mc brain power yo um this is eating up too much of your time bro i'm sorry (laughs) not nah not at all not at all man (laughs) there are visuals that are out right now for the uh for for the single and this is the single which means that there is an album that is going to follow uh you gotta let you gotta let the listeners know when they can expect to hear the full the full album be well the thing is um there's a lot of stuff uh, online that y'all can check out already, and this is the new. This is actually the first song, and usually I always have the whole thing set up where I drop an drop an album quick. Like I did like eight albums so far, and like a couple EPs and reissues. But this is the first time where I just did the single, and it's just everybody just seems to gravitate towards it. But there's no date for the album yet. Oh, wow. However, um, the the official video is dropping October 28th for okay. this song. Okay, and um, people can look out for that. And um, I'm working on a lot of new music, though, I can tell you that much. But um, if you want to check out my older stuff that's just out 
these last couple of years. Determination was my first English speaking album that came out last year. You can check it out online everywhere. And the collabs EP was an EP that I did earlier. But honestly, man, this this song which just took so much time and so much dedication. This is the focus right now. But yes, I'm working on a new album, but I can't give you an, a, a date, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna say this though: when the album drops, you gotta come back in the neighborhood for real. I will. I will. I actually, should, I should actually join you and come down to the station, man. That'd be dope. That'd be so dope. You know what I mean? We do a listening party and all that. For real. We'll set it up. <laughs> That's what's up, MC Brain Power. One more time, man. Let everybody know how to connect with you. Uh, let them know the website. Let them know the social media. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, you can check me out. My website is um, www.brainpowernow.com. And um, uh, all my social media stuff is basically MC Brain Power. So whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube, even Snapchat, and it's just uh, MC Brain Power. So look me up. My Dutch name is kind of complicated, but it's Hetjon Mulder, if you want to know. So if you can't understand or pronounce that, just look for MC Brain Power. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Look, we definitely gonna be keeping this joint in rotation, man, and um and, Thanks a and lot. promoting what you're doing, man, because because I believe in it and this is this is real hip hop. And like you said, at the end of the day, it is all about love, man. So I can I can definitely get behind and continue to promote that for real, for real. Thanks, man. And and and, and one more thing, it's not like a loose like thing, like it's all about love or like, oh, well, so wishy washy. It's like at the end of the day, we can we have to go through pain. It's like Dela said, man. People go through pain and still don't gain positive contact. So I just want to be that positive dude because, I mean, it ain't easy, but we have to come together to, to look at the similarities instead of the differences, man. That's just all I want to say right now with this song. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, we played it in the first album, man, but I got to let the people listen to it one more time. So we're going to get into all the same one more time. MC Brain Power, once again, brother, thank you so much for coming through the neighborhood. You're welcome, and thank you for having me, man. Absolutely, absolutely. That's MC Brainpower, man. International, B. Yo, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this, man. This is all the same. MC Brainpower featuring Orange Grove right here. Welcome to the neighborhood.